Well, guys, as you can see, a whole bunch has changed. And literally nothing's changed whatsoever. This is the exact same day. I'm wearing a different shirt just to, like, fool you guys. But honestly, although I do love this shirt. I had a chest day. I wear this for the chest day. And, like, I love the cleavage. I still can't do it too well. Because I gotta, like, put my whole arm into it. <laughs> doing the deep scroll. <laughs> ah, so there was some of that. Like the previous year. Uh-huh. All the drama! Ooh, that's what he went with. Gay panic. Bottom energy responding in like 0. 0.2 seconds. Oh, the double check! Which is like so valid and important because I'm definitely the kind of person who'll just say I'm okay and like blah blah. Typing. 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 <laughs> Oh, he said that one too. Oh, he's going at it. He's 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 he's. he's. <gasps> Gay panic. Well. <laughs> okay, but like. Again, I mentioned this before that it was like Ben feels very much like a reference to the way a lot of us went through this. But like right there, that definitely felt like a very good analogy to like cruising behavior and stuff like that. <coughs> Supportive straight friend. Straight! 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 Hey! It's still valuable. It's still it's still a good thing, okay? Like, yeah. I mean, hey, plenty of times I've been after a guy who's like... No, do a blue heart. Do a blue... Oh, okay. We went with red. We went with red. That's... That's adorable. I'm a blue heart person. <laughs> Gay panic! You should be hot. <laughs> okay, so what's her story today? <laughs> baby. Baby. It's a nice, even level of commitment. That's a baby there. It's like I'm gonna. Do some effort. Like saying have a nice day to someone as they're leaving a room. That that that's gonna be like yeah. Cap. Pinnacle peak of effort right there. But I do feel this, like there can be such a alienation type thing where you see people with established relationships and you like it and enjoy it, but then being able to insert yourself very rarely can feel organic or natural, for me at least. And of course I'm saying this as an autistic person, so it's like, there's probably an added element to this for me, but... Mario Kart Tournament! Yes! I'm already so in love. He's a really good friend. I'm afraid you're just gonna have to suffer then. Go the Catholic route. 
I mean, it's looking good so far. Give me what kind? What kind? What kind? What kind? Is it pickled onion? I want pickled onion. Hell for me, so. This is really there is something kind of fun and interesting about being adopted into a pre-existing friend group. You should come around my house and meet them. They bring on Saturday. Yeah, I think so. Cool. You should bring me over the British puppy. But like, actually, I feel like that is okay. I'm not gonna like. I'm not going to say that uh, gay guys and straight guys do this differently because pets are no. wonderful for anyone, obviously. But like, I feel like there is like something very unique to a straight bro relationship with his dog. So like, I almost feel like this is a bigger compliment if he is straight. But yeah, like that's just maybe dumb and stereotyping stuff. I admire the hell out of anyone who can wear white shoes. I could never. That's a terrifying concept. Oh, wow, he lives in a fully detached house. A fully detached house in an English show? This is a... This is spawned some serious wealth here. Papi. The way that he went immediately to like actually touch it, I like Loki terrified of that idea, but also like that is so cute. No, you're not gonna win one time. You're not gonna win any time. Snow? Snowy in February! Not getting to borrow a hoodie. The boy who's always been going around in a giant coat has to borrow a hoodie. Oh, look at those woods. It's so cute. Oh, God. I feel it so much. The way you have to keep ca casting glances at someone, keeping them in your eyesight to just, like, enjoy and absorb them. I like the little, like, interspersed animated elements to the live action. Was that cup of Netflix logo? It looked like the Netflix logo. Obviously not the colors, but like, it felt very similar to the font in a way where it's making me think, was that a cheeky Netflix placement there? Where it just kind of like blends in since he has a name that begins with an N, so. A little curious. Uh-oh. This piece of shit. None of your business. Oi! Boundaries! Blood streaky. But, I just have to take a break right here because, okay, gotta sleep now. I'm going, I promise. I love this, I love this because this is something I do way too much. <clears throat> talking to friends, talking to guys that like have low key crushes on, talking to guys that have high key crushes, talking to anyone really. I definitely very much want those people that's going to be like, go to sleep. You need your sleep. You're not going to get enough sleep. I'm worried about you. Get sleep. So I love that little element right there because that is cute. And now he's not sure what he's feeling here. He's the rugby king. Rugby king. I wanted to talk to you about Nick, actually. Uh oh. Yeah. Me too. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, this is a misunderstanding. Oh my god, we're already in the second episode. We're already into a classic misunderstanding. Like, because she saw him texting, she said, Oh my god, he's after someone. Everyone assumes it's a Goyle. So, oh my god, Nick is texting a Goyle. Nick is after a Goyle. <laughs> That's all just supposition and assumptions they've made. Tara Jones. Oh wait, what? Tara? Wait. Wait. 
Okay, I wasn't expecting this. I wasn't expecting... Big hug! Come on, straight boy. Straight boy, get up. Come on, straighty. Come on, hetero. There we go. Uh-uh. Into pairs. Into pairs. Hello! Hello! Do you want to pair it up? Do you want to be a pair? Oh my god, yes, please. This does this pronunciation is horrendous. Saying you have a girlfriend. Yes, I know. Oh, what? Oh. <laughs> They're together. Okay. They're well, together. These, uh, all right, let's <laughs> these two are each drinking. And these two are drinking. about his hand on your stick? He fell asleep. Did he fall asleep? He fell asleep. He fell asleep. Bad host. Bad host. Give in. Give in to the fireworks. Do it. Give in. Have the ball bot. Come on. It's just a hand. You'll be glad now. You could do it. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Get. Get a fuck. Go. 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 Go get a fuck. Looks so cuddly like that. <laughs> cuddly. 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 Yeah. That went heavy. with creepy ghost girl the way I have done this with my straight guys <laughs> bitch By the lesbians. Oh no, is this the is this the meme? 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 Ab I a poofda. Am I a Nazi? Am I a homosexual? to assume someone is straight until you find out otherwise is honestly until you really get into a point where you can find like gay communities and gay circles where it stops being such an issue 
this is one of those things that really does sort of stick around and haunt at all stages of life. Like, I'm small town. I'm 32. Like, I know there's some gay people here, but then the thing is there's also an influx of new people here. And you don't always know. And it's like, just because it is a small town and because there are some mentalities still prevalent around here, I find myself doing that all the time, just not being able to push past that barrier of, you know, say, straight first. And, ah, oh, I get it. And that whole sort of, like, friendship thing, which is made worse by this rather pathetic idea of, oh my god, gay people are why straight men can't be friends anymore. But the whole point is, like, no. One of the whole re issues we have is that we don't know if y'all are being friendly or being romantic because anything two guys do together, it just automatically gets put aside as being friendly, even if it is gay. Like, for fuck's sake, Tab Hunter and Tony Perkins are considered best friends by some people. But this is feeling incredibly relatable, and I'm, I like it. I want more! But, yeah, I gotta do other stuff. But, yeah, this was me reacting to episode two of Heartstopper. It's really cute, really fun, and oh my god, it's making me feel... I like the lesbians. They were cute. They were adorable. I want more of them. But, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe. And, of course, remember, life always gets better as long as you're working it a brick by a brick. See ya!